Hello viewers! Once again, an entire week has passed and, apart from a few near misses, none of you have hit the target on my last riddle. So before you go on, I would suggest you subscribe and then head back to the previous episode, as quick as a throwing knife, and see if you can solve it on your own. Well, go on. What are you waiting for? For me to give you the solution? Come to think of it. I just have. Okay, welcome back. Uh, this time I'm not giving you the full solution yet. You can probably guess it from my intro and you'll have it anyway next time. Today's mystery is set in a museum. I absolutely love museums, as you can tell from my shelf back there. I've got lots of stuff. And my last visit at a museum wasn't that much fun, though, because of a funny thing that happened towards the end. As, as I was leaving, um, the alarms went off, and I thought, am I that old? Anyway, today's mystery is set in a museum. Are you ready? Here we go. Cue the mystery music. A thief sends a note to the museum manager saying, I have committed the perfect crime. I have stolen a precious golden mask without setting off all the alarms and without breaking the thick protective glass case. The manager looks at the case, but the mask is still there. Upon examination, the mask is not a fake replica. Several years later, the manager realizes the thief had said the truth and had committed the perfect crime. How did he steal the mask if it was there and it was not a replica? Think about it, and if you know the answer to that question, well, write it in the comments, either here on YouTube or on Facebook, depending on where you see this video. Uh, I want to thank all the new subscribers. We're near a hundred now, which is a great thing for me and this means that there will be a new signed book giveaway quite soon so stay tuned and as always thank you for your time and attention and bye bye